I'm Jessica Lombard, Associate Superintendent. And I'm Bill Guerin, School Board Member, and this is Huntley 158 Today. And today I'm super excited that you are joining us, Bill. You're going to be our, our guest co-host for the remainder of the year. I so am thank so you. excited about that. I'm looking forward to all the shows that we have between now and then, but especially today's because we have some great people here to talk about our kindergarten registration, which is coming up here at the end of the school year. It's interesting, we're getting ready to wrap up the 17-18 school year, but we're already starting to talk about the 18-19 school year. So welcome. If you guys wanna go ahead and introduce yourself, the position that you're in in the district. Okay. I'm Maggie Campos, and I'm the district registrar, um, and I work out of district office. Um, Jennifer Zayas, I'm the principal at Chessick Elementary School. I'm Maureen Crony. I'm also district registrar at the district office. And right now this is an extremely busy time of the year for you all. You're probably getting people asking questions about next year already and most of those are going to be your kindergarten parents wanting to know what are, what's going on and what's the next steps and all of those kinds of things. So we thought it'd be great to go ahead and bring you on to help prepare and get some of this information out to our, our community. So thank you. Maggie, why don't you go ahead, tell us a little bit about our upcoming kindergarten registration. When is it? Where does it take place? Um, kindergarten registration is going to take place on June 6th, June 7th, and June 11th. Um, we do it at the three different schools. June 6th will be at Legee. June 7th will be at Chessick Elementary and June 11th will be at McCabin. And what time does it take place? Um, times will be from 11 to seven. Now, what do people need to bring to kindergarten registration? Sure, the parents need to bring the student's uh, county issued birth certificate. They need to bring their medical, dental, and vision requirements. All those forms can be found on the district website under forms. Um, additionally, they need to bring their proof of residency for their home. Sometimes they don't necessarily have that um, doctor's appointment or the vision appointment yet. Can they bring those in later? They can. Um, they should, each one of the stops during kindergarten registration will be at the nurse's office. If they have any questions regarding, um, if, for example, if their student might not quite be five and it's gonna be in July, they can hand in whatever the paperwork they had from their four-year-old visit, let the nurse know that they'll be providing the new five-year-old physical once they have it. Take us through, I'm a parent, whether I have an existing um, student in the district, this kind of process has changed a little bit. I walk through the school doors. Take me through what does that process look like for me and my student? Um, you're gonna come in, the first thing you do is you're gonna provide your birth certificate and proof of residency. The reason we're gonna make that your first stop is to make sure that you're within the boundary. Some parents don't know, especially if they're new families, so we're gonna double check that and make sure the student is age eligible for kindergarten. Uh, then they'll go to the nurse's office, hand in whatever paperwork they might have. If they don't have it, they can pick up additional forms there. They'll continue on into the next room where we're gonna do the, um, the regular paperwork. And while the parents are doing the paperwork, we're gonna have the students be evaluated for kindergarten. Um, additionally, that's when you're gonna we'll have language survey evaluation and they'll have a chance to look into the dual language program if they're interested. Um, they'll get their picture taken for their ID card. Um, and we're super excited about welcoming the parents and the students of the class of 2031. 2031, oh, wow. wow. <laughs> and just for planning purposes, how long does that whole process take? It'll again? take somewhere between 30 minutes and 60 minutes. They're gonna wanna make sure they take an appropriate amount of time for that evaluation. Um, just as a side note, the first hour and last hour are gonna be the most crowded. If you have, need to bring additional siblings, it might be a good idea to hit around two o'clock um, because we'll be less crowded then, um, but it's usually 30 minutes. Dr. Zayas, a couple years ago, we shifted this from the registration at the district office to the school setting. Mm -hmm. Tell us the, the difference that uh, experience has made for the students. For the students, it's been a great experience. The uh, students come with their parents, so it's a great idea that their parents bring them. Um, they get to see the building. The parents get to see the building. Um, we do tours. So we have staff members that are present at the building that volunteer, all different grade level teachers that volunteer and give them a tour of the building. Um, they get to see classrooms, they get to see the bathroom, cafeteria, um, things that the students are excited about. Um, and we also do a screening right there. So we have teachers, current kindergarten teachers mostly that do um, some screening purposes, um, just basic screening, really not long. So that screening isn't really to tell us is the student ready or not to come to school, it's more for you to help determine kind of 
balancing out classrooms and right things it like helps that. us determine just balancing a little bit um, just basic skills it's really a five minute not even it's three to five minute screening um, that we do and it's more are they comfortable talking with an adult um, sometimes they're a little bit more shy so it gives us that idea of how their personality is a little bit more really that's the purpose of it what if parents are interested in the dual language program what do they have to do that would be different so if parents are interested in the dual language program, we have someone available from our ESL department that's normally there, um, or someone that will be part of the dual language. And we have a table where they answer those type of questions, and they'll be either they can be screened that day, or there'll be a time that they'll make an appointment um, to talk about getting into the dual pro program. There'll be two different types. We'll have the Spanish speaking students, and then there'll be English speaking parents that want their child through a lottery through that. Maggie, some people might not be available on the 6th, 7th, 11th um, with that, or maybe they've moved in later. Is there another opportunity? What would registration look like if they can't make it on the 6th, the 7th, or the 11th? If they were to miss any of those dates, um, Maureen and I will be there throughout the whole summer. So they're welcome to come by our district office um, between the hours of um, 7.30 to 3.30. Um, and bring all their information with them. We won't be having the placement testing or the ESL testing um, taking place there, but we will be able to enroll the students. Great. Dr. Zayas, sometimes this is a little bit difficult. People are a little bit nervous for their kindergartners going off to school, especially if it's their first child going. What advice do you have for them? It's okay. Um, they're so excited really to come to school. Even they get scared too when parents see such big schools. Um, they don't get lost. We help them through the building um, and it's okay. They really are ready for it. And we offer volunteering opportunities for parents to come in the building. So we'd love to see volunteers in our buildings. So it's a good time for parents to see that. Maureen, any other advice, anything parents should know about the, the process? Um, if they've got questions between now and registration, can they give you guys a call at the district office? Should they call the school? They should get calls at the district office if there's anything regarding how to register their student. Um, if we have any parents that will be coming from the preschool currently at Cheswick Elementary, we want them to let us know when they get there because um, they have a special process. But other than that, um, all our information is available on the district website under Parents and Students tab and then Registration. Thank you guys so much for helping share the information for our families here about our upcoming kindergarten registration. So thank you for joining us. Thank you. And thank you for joining us at Huntley 158 today. Where it is all students always.